and Yoav are three young Israelis living in Berlin today. A couple of years ago, when the first Israelis moved to the city, they were looked at in amazement. But today, almost 20,000 live here. My name is Yael. Um, I'm from Israel. I didn't plan to come here. I ended up here because uh, I was doing a trip around Europe with friends, and then we were on a boat and it broke, so we hitchhiked here. <laughs> and I really liked it here, so I stayed. Berlin is home for me as well. I've lived here for the past 20 years making documentary films. For my new film project, I wanted to get in touch with those young Israelis of the third generation. What brought them here to my city, Berlin, to the country that had caused so much death and suffering for their people? Through an ad on the internet, I got in touch with Eyal, Yael, and Yoav. Would their life stories have anything in common with the life stories of Jews that had moved to Berlin a hundred years ago? I asked them to join me on a journey into the past. The place? An apartment in the district of Prenzlauer Berg, at Raumastrasse 41, first floor. I had many ideas what would await us but I never expected that the project would become so challenging for all of us. <laughs> this apartment was formerly home to the family of Rosa and Simon Adler. Simon Adler was born in the province of Galicia, which at the time was part of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. With Rosa, also called Rachel, he came to Berlin in 1905. They married and had three sons, Erich, Bernhard, and Heini. Berlin became their home. What was life like for a normal Jewish family around 70 years ago? What did their apartment look like? And how much of it can we still find today?